Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Lone Wolf 902. Today's video is going to be an informational video on a recent turn of events that I would like to kind of clarify for you guys. I am no longer working with One Tigress. That is a choice that I have made myself based on how they've treated me. So I'm going to explain what happened and why. I do have a list on my phone, which I'm going to refer to. I do want to thank all of you in the comment section for your support. It is amazing how much you guys stand by me on the decision that I've made. So thank you very, very much. So the last two years I have been promoting One Tigress gear and I've been doing this as a non-employee. I do not work for One Tigress and I never have. I've never been under contract. I basically, I'm just a person that creates photos. I am a photographer and a videographer. so. I, I capture photos and videos and one tigress basically started this relationship with me based on photos they found my photos and they started talking and they wanted to send me gear and basically it blossomed from there so over the last two years i have become the face of one tigress so my photos are all over the world uh which is a problem because that's not what i wanted uh I've become the face of One Tigress. I, all the photos that they have, like 90% of the photos that they have are my photos that I've taken or my photos of me that I took of myself in a tent and also my videos. So they've taken my videos and my photos, mainly my photos, and they plastered it all over AliExpress, all over Amazon, and that's not what I wanted. I allowed them temporary use and they basically took advantage of that and they went as far as removing my watermark from my photos, which I very, very very clearly explained that I did not want to happen. They did that and I sent them the original high res files to use so that they would be nice and, and clear. Uh, they basically took those photos and I only sent them to One Tigress and I see now a bunch of companies that are not One Tigress using my photos of a tent that they offer that is very similar. So the only way you get a high res file is if you send the high res file to somebody. So uh, you can't fool a photographer or a videographer because we know how this works. We know the tech stuff. So they basically took my photos and sent them to other companies to use. So I'm not happy about that. Um, currently I do have a hammock hot tent co-design project with One Tigress that I brought to One Tigress over one year ago. Uh, I was actually in the hospital and my girlfriend was giving birth to my youngest son and I was on my phone with one tigress messaging details about the hammock hot tent. So the, the hammock hot tent was 100% my idea. It was my design. I brought it to them and it was supposed to be launched last year and it was not launched and it's still not launched. Surprise. And it's a year later. So what has happened with that is we did settle on a contract and the contract only this one time. The contract was for basically confidential reasons that we were not going to release any photos or videos of the product at all until the product was available for sale. One digress. Oh, there's a big squirrel. Caught off guard. Uh, one tigress. No, that's not Rusty. I should mention. No, that's not Rusty. Rusty did not come home with me. <laughs> that is another squirrel. I swear. Um, so One Tigress went against the contract about a week and a half ago when they released a full product page on their website of the hammock hot tent with my big logo on the side of it. And that uh, they, they didn't tell me about it. They didn't tell me that it was happening. So what had happened is I pre-recorded videos months ago and I just released a video shortly after they uploaded that. I released an overnighter that I filmed in October. So that was the reason why I released that video. Um, so what had happened is people a lot of people started emailing me asking hey where's the video on the hammock hot tent and I said what do you mean and I basically I found out because I went to one tigress and I, I found the ad sitting there on their website and on Instagram so I messaged Chris Zhang and that is the individual who I've been messaging with the last two years getting the products and, and co-designing and whatnot and I asked him what's going on and he said yes it's on the website and it is basically on or Instagram and whatnot and I said okay so I'm gonna to need to release a video because my viewers are looking for information and you guys were really looking to purchase it for Christmas gifts and that kind of struck me this is a family oriented channel so when when you're coming to me looking for answers on my product because you want to purchase it for your spouse for a Christmas gift that's kind of personal and I wanted you guys to have that information so I told Montagris I said I need to release a video and they said no you cannot release a video and uh, I said well I'm going to 
you guys broke the contract. It was supposed to be confidential. You guys went against it. So I am releasing the video. So I re released one video and I got backlash, kind of a bare bum spanking for that, if you want to put it that way. Uh, they, they told me that they weren't happy with it. So put it behind me. That was, that was whatever. Um, and then, like I said, they taken my photos, using my photos all over the internet. I didn't agree to that. Uh, and then, where, where am I at here? I'm just kind of going through. I'm going through some questions and stuff that you guys have asked. Um, okay, so then after that, about three or four days later, I receive a message from one tigress. And I'm going to put the message up on the screen. Off of Messenger, I'm going to put it in the video. They told me that I'm not allowed to use Pamali wood stoves in one tigress tents. <sighs> Lone Wolf 902 is my channel. I do not work for One Tigress. I will do what I want to do. So if I want to use a Pomali stove in a One Tigress tent, I will. I will do just that. I will do it once, twice, three times, four times. I will do it as many times as I like because I am Lone Wolf 902. So I told them that I, I'm going to do what I want to do. I do not work for you. I don't follow orders from you. If I want to use a One Tigress stove or a Pomali stove in a One Tigress tent, I will. They didn't like that, and that kind of set the pace for what has happened yesterday, which was my birthday, and uh, where we're at today. So last night I was on basically a group chat with One Tigress, and they agreed that I am a huge asset of the team, and they want to treat me as a team member, and they believe that I deserve compensation for the last two years of my photography and videography and all the supporting that I've been doing for One Tigress, because I haven't been paid. So they agreed that yes, you deserve compensation, we will compensate you. And then they went on asking what I felt I deserve. Well, I bought more than one vehicle in my lifetime, so I know how this works, okay? So I said, well, how do you think I should be paid? What do you think's fair? Because you guys own a business, you guys do photography, marketing, you guys know the cost of advertising, it's not, it's not cheap. So what do you feel that I deserve? They wouldn't give me an answer. So at the end of the conversation, it basically ended with them saying, we're not going to pay you. And I said, you know what, it's fine, I'm done with One Tigress. If you guys don't want to accept me as a team member and an asset, as they put it, uh, then I'm done with One Tigress. Do not use my photos, do not use my videos, do not use my logo. I will have no more contact with One Tigress from here on out. That's where we're at today. So I am happy with this decision, by the way, guys. This is something that I, I, I will not tolerate being bullied or pushed around by anybody, especially on my own channel. Uh, I made this channel to inspire people to get outdoors, you guys, and I'm going to continue to do that. So I'm going to go through my phone with a couple more uh, questions and comments that you guys had just to make sure that I've covered everything. I want to keep this short, but uh, I'll do that right now. And if you guys have any more questions, you can definitely drop it down in the comments section and I'll get back to you. Okay, so going through my phone questions. Um, uh, I already covered the, the hammock hot tent. Yes, it is my design. I, I co-designed it. I brought the idea to One Tigress. Um, I'm sorry, but my logo is not going to be on it anymore. I am going to keep the green hammock hot tent from One Tigress that they sent me because it is my design and I'm going to use it. I like it. So every other piece of One Tigress gear, and this is another question, all my other One Tigress gear I am selling. I don't want it. I have a ton of One Tigress gear that is still brand new in the packaging, never used. I'm going to be selling all of it and it'll be down in the description of this video and the reason why i'm selling it and not just turfing it is because if they don't want to pay me for my efforts in creating their company growth over the last two years i'm going to collect the funds from the products that seems fair so i'm going to be selling off all the one tigress gear i'm not going to be using it anymore uh, another question <laughs> this is a funny one and the reason why i'm including this is because i i I want to ask this question as well because I don't know the answer. Why does One Tigress make more dog products than human products? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, good question though because I, I'm asking the same question. Why do they do it? I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so 3%. They offered me 3% for the hammock hot tent. I didn't want any money. I said no. Send me a camera because I need the camera to further promote your gear at a higher resolution. Go figure, eh? Um, so they, they sent me the camera. That was it for the for the contract. No, they're not allowed using my logo. No, I'm not supplying them with any more photos or videos. Uh, and yes, they they took it too far. They they wanted to bully me around and push me around. And uh, and I'll I'll share something with you guys. So the way One Tigress works with their promoting, as it was explained to me, is they target smaller channels. So you guys will notice that large channels, big channels, they don't 
show one Tigris gear, or they don't show a lot of gear. A lot of the major channels just can't be bothered with it, okay? So what they do is they target small channels, and that's when they found me is I think I had a 1,000 subscribers. And now we're pushing 40,000, so going up. Uh, so what they do is they target smaller channels, and basically people that are just getting into YouTube. Excuse me. And they, they send them their gear for free, and I mean, I was there. So yeah, you get happy. Yeah, I got free gear. I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna promote it. They make you feel welcomed, um, and they do this because you're new to YouTube. You're new to it. It's fun. They're gonna send you gear and you're gonna promote it. And, and they, they, they that's what they do. They target all the smaller channels. Um, the bigger channels have graduated to a level where they don't have to take that anymore, and that's where we're at today. I don't feel I need to take it anymore, so I'm pushing back and I'm saying no. Uh, so they target the smaller channels, they give the gear, they don't offer any incentive, they don't offer payment, um, <laughs> they, they just, they expect everything for free. Now here's something interesting, is I have received a lot of emails from other YouTubers saying One Tigress has in fact paid them. You're using all of my photos, you're using my videos, you're using my co-design, and I have not received compensation, however other YouTubers are confirming that they have been paid. So that's kind of snaky, I don't like that. Uh, but basically it, it's over. It's over. I'm done. I'm not going to be working with them anymore. I, I'm on to bigger and better things. I am currently working with Pamali with more projects coming out as well as a few other companies. So I'm enjoying that. I'm having a lot of fun and they're all treating me really, really well. So it's, it's kind of saddening that one tigress took this relationship and basically destroyed it by making mistake after mistake after mistake. And then making the ultimate mistake of demanding what I can and cannot do on my own channel when I'm not a, an employee of one tigress. It was just, it was ridiculous. So I'm going to be, like I said, I'll put those messages up on the screen so you guys can actually have the facts instead of just taking a story A and story B. I'm going to put the facts up there. You guys can have that. Um, and that's all I've got for you guys. So short and sweet, uh, happy holidays. Uh, it is Christmas in a few days. So happy holidays. I wanted to get this off my chest and I wanted to be upfront and honest, give you guys the information and then put it behind us and keep moving forward with more filmmaking. So thank you guys very much. If you guys have any questions, absolutely drop it down in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you. But the closing message is yes, Lone Wolf 902 has ended it with one tigress done. So Catch you guys in the next video.